robbing her, throw up the sex in her. Hello everyone, how are you today? You know I'm feeling a little bougie or whatever. A B just came back from LA, flying first class. Okay, so I decided to make a video about it and tell you guys about my experience. Okay, it, it's, it's dark as hell here. Let me take these shits off. Let me stop fucking playing. Let's get y'all. What's happening? I told you guys in the vlog I would make a video about what it was like flying first class. All economy and shit. <laughs> so I did recently go to TikTok's Black History event in LA. Shout out to Desi because her fiance works at the airport. We were able to secure some first class tickets. Now going there, I got the first class seat. She had an economy seat and then going back she got a first class seat and I got an economy seat now we did have some bumps in the road because we were taxi for two hours getting into LA because LAX had lost power due to the weather but I mean I was sitting in first class in my little recliner bed seat situation so I was happy okay but yeah Desi was you gotta be sick as fuck okay so I also had to sit next to a man that didn't take a shower that's a whole nother thing but Desi going back had a smooth ride she had a guy that was all nice nice to her and they had a really grand old time so we both had a really good time in first class and I just decided to make this video for anyone that thinks that first class is worth it or not worth it or just to tell you guys about the experience just in case you're wondering what it's like so first things first I flew JetBlue Mint okay Mint is their first class experience and let me just say right off the bat because I know a lot of you guys clicked on this video to find out if it's worth it or not I will say I would never ever pay full price for a first class class ticket unless I absolutely had to like in one of those situations where it was like a privacy or security concern like if I was like borderline famous but didn't have a private jet type shit because it's like to pay two thousand dollars for a flight in general doesn't make sense like literally I pay over two thousand dollars for my rent therefore can I see myself paying two thousand dollars for a flight like literally for a couple of hours or something personally no and I'm gonna go over the reasons why when you pay for a jet blue mint seat you're getting loads of perks so I will say the perks are not really the reason why so let's go over the perks real quick so first things first the flight attendants chef's kiss they are beautifully nice okay they are the top tier service okay the best service you will ever get in the flight attendants type of service situation okay you guys understand okay they will introduce themselves to you by name okay and the entire time they know your name they are extremely courteous they will do any and everything for you you will not have to lift a finger in jet blue mint okay if you need something out of your bag they will literally get your bag for you and bring it down for you and this is even the case when it comes to take off and landing they will lift your bag you're not allowed to have like bags on the floor or you know like kind of like in your seat when um taking off or landing because like it moves around and in the jet blue mint seats they're kind of structured in a way where like there's nowhere to really put extra things so i'm gonna say that part for the cons okay the the service is top tier okay like you're not gonna get that service anywhere else i don't know about the other people's first class but that first class chef's kiss all right second perk is there is food okay there is dinner and it is actually really good dinner it, it's, it's 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 at least i would say at least like four star dinner three and a half full star dinner like it's really really good i had got the steak and i believe um some other stuff i don't even remember but the steak was really really good that's all i remember that was some good food I'm really sad I didn't get my little economy cookies or my economy Cheez-Its. Yeah, I was a first class eating steak and I still wanted my Cheez-Its. You can take the bitch out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the bitch. Like, I need to understand. Like, I kind of 
another one of my little cookies. Like, I didn't understand. I thought I was going to get them. So, instead of getting that, you get these little um, oil and salted peanuts in a nice little royal uh, cup thing. Like, listen, I was just like, chat. I don't get no cheese. It's like, I'm not even gonna lie. You can ask for whatever you want, quite honest with you, and it is included. You are not paying for it. But like, if you're just like sitting there, because I was like, I want to see what happens if I just don't say anything. Like, I want like the full JetBlue experience as a newcomer. And that's basically what you're getting. A bunch of salted peanuts. Um, You can get alcohol. Alcohol is actually included as well. Coffee, tea, juice, literally. You could ask for anything because I was testing the limits. Can I get a shot of this? Can I get that? And it was like, yeah, sure. I was like, ah. Yo, I was living la vida loca, okay? I was like, damn, I don't think I could ever fly economy again. But I had no problem when I started looking at the prices. I was like, you know what? This doesn't make sense to pay rent for a plane seat, you know? But it was a nice experience. If you have a buddy pass, always take the first class seat. It is worth it. So let's go over the menu, okay? So I completely forgot that I had this, but let's go over it. So of course, for coffee and tea, we had espresso. We had drip coffee, which is from Dunkin' Coffee. We had tea pigs coffee, which is chamomile flowers, ginger tea, English breakfast tea, green tea tea peppermint leaves we had oat milk available upon request we had a parting gift was with chocolate covered cashews and then we had small plates okay now this was great this was part of the dinner so the way they did this was you got to choose three and then like they brought out dessert which i didn't get dessert because like i was so full of the food i didn't think it was actually going to be legitimate food that was a legit serving size but it was so you had the option of um the seven green salad the burrata the cashio e pepe and chicken rosemary bread cum and then the flat iron steak which is what I decided to have and of course you would choose three of these two would come cold one would come hot I didn't understand this when I first looked at this and I felt so damn poor trying to order this so I just asked the lady before I looked stupid I was like how does this work and I felt like people were looking at me when I said how does this work definitely look up what you're getting yourself into how these things work and everything because you gonna be looking like an economy bitch in first class like me <laughs> I have no shame. I don't get embarrassed. It's very hard to embarrass me. So I don't give a shit. I was like, how does it work? How I order? Because I don't get it. It was just like, choose three. I'm like, how am I going to choose three entrees? So it's basically like two side pieces in a, a main, pretty much. And of course, for cocktails, we have mint condition, al pasta margarita. The mint condition was divine. I love that drink. And of course, they had zero proof mint, one condition, seltzer, ginger, lime, cucumber mint. And then they had beer and liquor. So they had Tito's. They had Bombay. They had Bacardi rum, Jack Daniels whiskey. They, y'all, you guys see we had the options people was on that flight getting legit lit okay and um of course for wine they they had the, the basic wines you know the the chardonnay but they had lute they had rouge wine which is red wine like they had all types of wines like i i wish i could I, should have got some wine. I really should have got lit. But to be honest, with the experience that followed the flight, I'm happy I was sober. If you guys have watched that video about the van, okay, the racist van guy, go watch that. But thank God I was sober because Chad, I would have been drunk. Well, honestly, maybe if I was drunk, I wouldn't have had such a shitty ass experience. But he would have killed my drunk and I would have been really upset. I would have been irate. I would have been a hashtag. Anyway, what I really loved about being in first class and also part of the perks was care kit. I didn't know they do this in first class. Nobody's ever told me because I don't think I know anybody that's really long first class or maybe I just never asked. It is yeah like I said the care kit so the care kit is basically like this little pouch of like goodies that they give you as soon as you get on board they put in this cute little like gray thing and they had socks in there and y'all these socks are literally probably some of the softest socks I've done ever one in my life and they're so comfortable and they're so cute okay um and then of course there was this face mist which I have a lot of like face mist and things like that there's nothing like that mist okay this mist right here is divine they gave us this salt and stone chapstick which I haven't even tried it yet I just threw it in my makeup stuff um this coconut oil I put it on my face pretty nice okay and you could also put it in your hair you could put it in all different things um and these um de-stress gummies oh my god the de-stress gummies from de-stress y'all what I'm telling y'all I was in first class like yo this is nice okay the food the liquor the little care packet it was just so thoughtful and I think that's what I really liked about the jet blue mint and that's probably something that would make me probably reconsider like damn maybe I should just get a fucking first class seat every time I fly jet blue it's the thoughtfulness and the consideration of it all like they're very like thoughtful of your experience flying with them even if you're just flying economy everybody knows jet blue is like honestly the best airline you could go with even though it is a little bit pricier than the other airlines their first class is definitely top tier 
here. However, I will say there were some things that were just very annoying. So the seats. So I ended up getting a seat that was all the way in the back of first class. Those seats do not recline like normal seats, okay? They do fold into a bed, but they do not recline. It was weird because like it still felt exactly the same, but I felt it in my back. I ain't gonna lie, I felt it in my back while I was actually headed back, um, you know, to the hotel. I was like, yo, my back actually hurts like hell because I wasn't able to recline. I had to either lay down or sit straight. Um, it, it, I, I don't know how to explain it. If anybody's ever had a seat that can't recline, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, it'll probably like go back, but it won't go back if you know what I mean. I really did like the fact that the seats do turn into beds. So that's one really amazing perk of first class, like the beds. Okay, yes, they turn into beds, guys. The seats turn into beds. And then your screen is literally the size of like, I would say like maybe a 15 inch MacBook, like the about biggest shit. I didn't really watch TV because I have an iPad, I have a phone. Um, and I was really trying to go to sleep, but like beautiful. The Wi-Fi on board is really good as well. I was able to go on my I said MySpace. I was able to go on Instagram, I was able to text people, I was able to keep doing what I needed to do online, on board, which was really, really great. And if you want to watch a movie, if you want to do whatever it is on the screens, you can do so while laying down in first class. Like, can you imagine like literally a full fledged bed? I'm not talking about like any little bit of crunch, even though I had a seat that did not recline the bed. Like you, you literally could recline your seat down to the point where it is a bed. Okay. And I'm four foot 11. I still had so much space. I believe if you're literally about six feet, you can definitely fit yourself into that space. It was so much leg space. It was just so much room in general. It was unbelievable. And the final perk would be massage. Yes. Not only do these seats recline very well, and they're also pretty damn comfortable. And you get this nice screen that's like the size of a MacBook screen staring right at you. And you get amazing Wi-Fi with amazing service with flight attendants that know your name and salted bougie peanuts with unlimited liquor and unlimited food. You also get a massage seat, boys. This shit was lit. But if only my massage chair worked. So now we're getting into the cons. Like I said, my massage chair didn't work. I don't know why the fuck it didn't work. Um, the massage function just didn't work for me, uh, which is kind of disappointing. I don't know if Desi used hers. I'm, I should ask her. I don't know. But it didn't work for me. I was kind of very annoyed by it. But I mean, what are you going to do? I do not bitch cry or complain about things that cannot be changed. It is what it is. It didn't work. So I just enjoyed what I could. Second con would be you cannot really have anything on the floor in first class. As much leg space as there is, it's just very uncomfortable to have anything in front of you. And your flight attendants will come around and try to pick up anything like any bag or whatever in front of you or around you that you have because it's just the way it's structured. It just doesn't work. The next thing would be the lighting. As an influencer, you already know I have to have my lighting. Okay, I was going to vlog first class, but it was not working because the lighting was so turret ass. Yes, I could have did the little over light situation, but that brings me to my next con. First class is not height friendly. Okay, now this shit might just be subjective. Okay, no, I don't care. I feel like in regular economy, because when I when I was flying back, I'm like, okay, I could reach things just fine. But for whatever reason, in first class, everything was just bigger. <laughs> like I couldn't reach my light. Uh, I couldn't reach anything above me, like the little fan thing. Um, uh, because I was hot. Okay, I was really really hot. I couldn't reach my fan thing. I'm sitting here taking off my hoodie. I'm sitting here stripping. Girl, like it didn't make sense. Like it was just it didn't make sense. Uh, I didn't like the lack of temperature control because I couldn't control it. So it's just like, bro, hey, like I don't like it. And yes, I could have just asked the flight attendant for help, but I felt like certain points I was just looked at as an outsider because like I just looked like I was in economy sitting in first class. I don't know what it is. Like y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Beamer, like just beaming at you. I don't know. It could have just been me though. It was probably just me being self-conscious to be quite honest with you. But we are flying to LA and people in LA, especially the transplants, as you guys call them, tend to be a lot more pretentious and a lot more judgmental. So it could have been all in my head. It could have not been all in my head. Nonetheless, I should just ask for help. Um, and that brings me to my next point, the fucking tray. The tray, the tray, the fucking tray. I did not like how hard it was to get the tray out. Um, getting the tray out was a task. To this day, I don't know how to work the tray in first class. So the trays are not like other first class trays where you know it just you know flips out easily boom, boom, bam, boom, beat, boom, bam. it's kind of like on the side and you have to like hold swipe I can't tell you I was literally sitting there googling how to take out the tray but luckily the lovely flight attendants took it out and put it back for me each time because that I was not able to do and what pissed me off is this dusty ass smelling like ass ass nigga in first class saw me struggling with this tray and didn't think oh she needs help let me help her he literally saw me 
homie struggling, whipped his tray out and put it back. True story, bro. So it's just like, I don't like this. Like that guy barely spoke to me. Like I was trying to make conversation with him when I first came on board. And like, he was kind of like being short and being like, I don't want to say rude because rude isn't the word. He was just being like, oh yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Like, this is cute. Wow, they do. Oh, wow. It's like, yeah. Like, yeah, duh, bitch. You never been in first class? Like, I swear that's what I, <laughs> I swear. That's what it was giving. But again, it could all be in my head, guys. It could all be in my head. But nonetheless, certain things, I feel like we should get a crash course, okay? Whether we're in first class or economy, they could be like, this is how you pull out your tray. This is how you put on your seatbelt. Because they do that. Wait, they do do that for seatbelts, right? They'd be like, okay, you put on your seatbelt like this, you unlash it like that. Why can't we do that with the trays? Because I had the same issue with the exit row. So flying back, thankfully, I got an exit row seat. Oh my God, I had so much legs, bro. I love an exit row seat. And the exit row seats had flip out TVs and flip out trays. You already know I couldn't do it. Why didn't they give us a little mini tutorial of how to flip out the tray and how to flip out the TVs? They need to take into account that some people are flying for the first time. Some people never flew their airline before. And some people just slow, like me. So damn, I wish we had a little mini tutorial. You know, also with first class, I wish they would have told us what was available, how to do this, how to do that. How can I get my cheesy crackers from economy you know i'm in first class but apparently we were able to do that because at the end the, the you know ass smelling nigga was asking for certain things we're like oh yeah we would love to but we just ran out i'm like so we could just ask for the economy snack so listen they need to give a nice little faq order our snacks order this do that do that because literally these were just sitting in the um whatever like they were just sitting in a pocket so like you kind of just have to figure it out like oh menu like, i don't even know what i was like oh menu oh shit they did tell me food was included they did tell me liquor was included it was desi's fiance that kind of told her and she told me uh i, I would have never known one look into it two jet blue if you're watching this please give us a little poor to rich bitch <laughs> I want to say Puerto Rich bitch guy, but that's not nice. I, I don't want to say that, but Puerto Rich bitch guy? Like, could we get a welcome to the elite class? This is what the bougie do. Don't do this. And that brings me to the next portion of this video. How to act the first class. I just stayed quiet, and that's probably why a lot of my needs weren't met. But definitely speak up. Ask questions if you don't understand. Do not be like me. Um, try to make a friend because that would definitely go a long way. There is a bathroom all the way up front, but if you're all the way in the back, there's also a bathroom there that is shared with whoever's up front of the plane i chose to go all the way up front because bitch i'm first class i don't know how to act i'm going up front and the bathrooms be nasty and i was like yup the 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 first class bathroom up there is going to be better than the economy class over there be friendly be nice um depending on whatever flight it is or wherever you're going i'm very sure the experiences are going to be completely different try not to act oh my god this is lit don't be loud don't be ghetto don't be doing the most because i've seen some interesting experiences and a lot of people did not like that right and most importantly don't be like me look it up okay because it's not a regular flight and I want you guys if you're gonna spend thousands of dollars on these things you know your perks and you actually experience all of your perks right um and you're not just paying all this money and you're not even getting the full experience so in total I paid about $180 to get on that flight as opposed to the probably $2,000 that that flight from JFK to LAX would have cost if I paid the total amount now i will say i probably would never pay for a first class flight because again i can't see myself spending that much money for a flight and i know people are like oh how about if you're a millionaire how about this if i'm a millionaire i'll probably have a private jet but i'm saying no like on some real shit that's a lot of money to spend for a flight but i will say if you're watching this and you're contemplating you want to spoil yourself and you have a long flight ahead of you just understand that most of the time you're never going to get a first class option if you're not flying more than i think five hours anyway so it's like if you have that option please think about it because even though i had an amazing experience and i definitely would do it again if given the opportunity i would never pay full price for it if you get a buddy pass always go for it because you're never going to pay a thousand anything dollars you're going to pay no more than maybe two hundred dollars for it but if you have to pay the full price i would not recommend spoil yourself in another way okay you can literally buy a hoopty with two thousand dollars <laughs> like you can do so many things with two thousand dollars that i personally don't think it's worth it but that's also because i'm older now what i'm 28 i feel like there's so many things that two thousand dollars can go towards and it's just like spending it on a flight is giving for what though like why like what is it necessary i just don't really understand and most importantly i want you guys to really take into account that like it's just the flight remember
remember it's just a flight you're going to point a to point b it's really not that serious if you're just trying to get a first class flight to flex that you was on a first class flight just to make a reel or whatever it's like is it really worth it though nonetheless i gave you guys my jet blue mint experience and i thoroughly did enjoy it if you guys ever get the opportunity to get on one definitely get on one especially if you get a coupon code buddy pass if you have the opportunity to get on there definitely get on there thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for supporting me i'll see you guys in the next video peep the description box for everything that you guys consistently ask me about down below and i'ma see y'all next time bye and we out